Hi everyone, it's December 23rd, 2017. I want to thank Marie W. for posting this video and also telling me that she posted this video. SpaceX rocket launch, a huge lie, and I have 100% proof from mainstream media. The links that Marie provides for you, the LA Times, the Washington Post, I can't pull up because I have exceeded my quota for the month to get articles on those publications. But these articles are from 2015. Let's just listen to a few minutes of what Marie has to say. Hello everyone. I don't really make videos and I don't have many subscribers, but it's not my thing, but this really needs to be said. This whole rocket launch, I've checked out like five or six truthers post videos on it and not one of them. I can't, either they forgot or they never knew. This has happened so many times before. I never knew that this happened before. Um, and I don't like being referred to as a truther. Anyway, perhaps she wasn't thinking about me. All right, here we go. And one of the larger times was in, I guess I don't know if a lot of people reported it and the news reported it was in 2015. And it, it's the same exact thing. Um, when they did it at that time, um, it was fired from a submarine known as the USS Kentucky, and it was not a SpaceX missile. It was, according to them, a Trident II missile, um, and it was unarmed. And it was an area that the Navy, so it was the Navy, it was a Trident II missile, and it definitely wasn't SpaceX. And you can find images of this all over the internet from 2015. There were other times, I just don't remember the date or the year, and I just did a quick look up. And my friend posted this in my comments on Facebook. <laughs> we had a UFO in China, and the same thing happened in China, too, and I don't know, this, he said this was 15 years ago, I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it was, um, anyways, I'm really shocked that how much they're blatantly lying, and it makes me so mad that the mainstream media is getting away with this, because, I don't know, anyways, I just wanted to let you know, I'll leave the links and check Google. Uh, this is what I Googled to find this page. I didn't know what to Google anyway. So give me a thumbs down if you're a show because I just busted them in a huge lie. God bless you guys. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Marie. All of the links are right below here. I will link below to Marie's video. This is the Google link that she has provided. And there are many images here. And this was the Trident 2 missile test over California. Looks very, very similar to what we saw last night in the video that I posted. Uh, Mia with a new pair of glasses, she posting it. And I also got pictures from subscribers uh, from... Arizona, Tucson, and Phoenix. And how they can claim this is a rocket that is moving so slowly, so low, and, well, seems to be moving in a horizontal direction rather than vertical. Well, who knows what they have? Who knows? The technology is, well, Far more advanced than what we know, guys. Here is a video of the Trident 2 missile test over Los Angeles in 2015.
So we didn't see that in the video, but what is exploding there? Um, many of my subscribers have left comments wondering if they're releasing something into the atmosphere that's dangerous to our health. Well, <laughs> yeah. How can you not question everything? So this does not seem to have been this SpaceX Iridium uh, launch to drop off satellites in the upper um, atmosphere or wherever they were going to be dropping off those satellites. I don't know what it is. I don't who how do we even know if it was a Trident missile launch? This back in 2015 on Dave Hodge's site, he excerpted excerpted a article from Steve Quayle, an engineer who worked on the D5 program, contacted Steve Quayle. And this is what he had to say about that test regarding the stories that the blue tinted light seen at night off the coast of South California was due to the test firing of a Trident II D5 ICBM. I am highly skeptical of this explanation. I worked as an engineer in the D5 program for several years, qualified to comment on this issue. Test firings are generally done during the day. A test shot is quite expensive and thus one tries to accomplish multiple test goals with each launch. One of the objectives of a test firing is either to test one or more missiles in a new block or of hardware, to qualify the entire block, or to test one or more aged missiles to demonstrate that they are still suitable for deployment. In case of failure, video footage is invaluable in determining the cause of the failure. So firing at night prevents this vital video recording. Well, you know, look, we can believe Elon Musk that he launched a SpaceX Iridium uh, rocket to drop off satellites. We could think that it's a Trident II. What, what, we know that our, mil our government lies all the time. So all we can do is speculate. But this in November 30, just, you know, a couple of weeks ago, new missile test shows North Korea capable of hitting all of U.S. mainland. Fear propaganda. Uh, one could even speculate, oh, they shot off a Trident II missile to intercept the North Korean missile. Oh, God. I'm so, I, I really am very, very sick and bored with the same old, same old. Um, is anyone out there the days when UFO fever gripped China? This was posted yesterday. Stories about aliens and flying saucers once grabbed the public imagination in China, but hardly generate interest now. So this article claims that China will be the first to <laughs> receive a UFO. Oh, all right. Um, I thought this was interesting. This was posted. When was this? Today. Posted today. Shock as UFO portal opens up in skies above China. Hundreds of people were left thinking a, a portal to another dimension was opening. This bizarre rectangular doorway, huh? It appeared in the sky. Anybody see my video that I took back in 2011? Great Barrington, Massachusetts. This video, the rectangular portal. I don't think it's a portal. I think it's the technology they can they can create this in the sky. And are they going to be doing an alien invasion? Look, would anything surprise you at this point? So many things are happening. And even when we think we've got it, we've got the answer, 
We may not. We may not. So, yeah, we're left to speculation. I, I was absolutely sure that it was that SpaceX rocket launched by Elon Musk until I saw Marie W's video. So thanks, Marie. All links are below.